call out the makeup wipe as a red, as a white flag of my surrender, okay? Hey friends, so today I let Instagram pick my makeup. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's up here. This is my Instagram, so you can follow me if you want. And we're gonna jump right into it because they, you guys picked some exciting stuff for me. I did put some stuff in there that I didn't like, so I'm excited that you guys bobbed and weaved and didn't troll me too much and you picked things that I really liked. So we're just gonna jump into it and I'm gonna start with eyes because you guys picked the Modern Renaissance. I also had the Natasha Denona up there and I'm really glad you guys didn't pick that. You're true homies. So we're gonna dive into my beat up Anastasia palette and we're gonna play with this. You know I'm kind of feeling a halo eye. I know my last video was a halo eye but I really like halo eyes. Like I can't help it. All right. I'm going to take my 10 year old BH Cosmetics brush and I'm going to dip into Bonfresco up here and put that in the crease. Ugh. Also, sorry if there's inter any interruptions in this video noise wise. My house is getting a new air conditioning today, so it's been quite loud. Sorry. I haven't touched this palette in a good few months, but I forgot how amazing she was. So I'm really going to try to play in with the more pinky tones in this palette because I play a lot with the, the warm like browns, so I'm going to challenge myself a little bit to give more of a fun tutorial. Type. I don't know if I should go with, with red ochre or just... Venetian red? What do you guys think? I mean, you can't tell me. Kyle, Venetian red or, or red ochre? Yes. I can't tell what one's what. Venetian red. No, Venetian red, red ochre. Venetian red. Venetian red. Okay. By a tiebreaker of my boyfriend telling me what to do, we're going to take Venetian red. And we're just going to put that right underneath Bonfresco. And I am gonna do a halo eye because I can't help myself. I just love a good halo eye. Next video I promise, I pinky promise to you will not be a halo eye. Unless you want one. <laughs> I start with my dark colors. I really like to stamp them like a beauty, like how I'm beauty blend my face. I like to stamp it and then, okay, so I stamp it here, right where it starts to meet my lash line and then when I start the second half of the V, I drag it inwards. So most of the color will be on the outside of my lid space. So switching back over to the BH brush, I'm gonna dip just once into Bon Fresco and make sure all the edges still show that color. I have that Venetian red in. I'm going to take the darkest shade in here, Cypress Umber, and I'm going to put that the closest to the outer and inner corner. I'm so happy you guys picked this palette and not Natasha Denona. I just could see myself just getting super angry and not being able to put a good cohesive look together with that palette because that palette is garbage, as you all know. I don't think I'll ever stop talking about how much I hate it. I'm an Aries, so we hold grudges. <laughs> what is your zodiac sign? I'm really curious. Are you a water sign? If you're a water sign, tell me what sign you get along least with. Because as a fire sign, I have sometimes have a really hard problem getting along with water signs. I don't really know why. I just think it's because we cancel each other out. So I think... That's why I could. But earth signs and air signs. My boyfriend's an earth sign and my best friend's an air sign, so. I get along swimmingly with you guys. Really liking how this is looking. I'm going to cut the, the center of the lid and I will be right back. Just cut the center of the lid. If I ever figure out how to do it without being this close to a camera, I will show you how I cut the lid. But basically, I just took some, 
some concealer and this Morphe brush, the M705, and I just run it along wherever I want to cut it. Alright, but I'm going to, before this sets, I'm going to take, oh god, I don't even know how to say that, Vermeer, this champagne shade that I love dearly. I love putting on shimmer shades with my fingers. I think it makes it pop the most. Alright you guys, so I'm going to attempt, attempt a wing because you guys chose the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It was between this and a red gel liner from NYX. So kind of sad that the red one didn't win. I thought that would have been fun. But we're going to do a black baby wing. Everyone hold their breath. What did I do? Look! This wing is like, hi, I'm not the best, but I'm here. And this wing is like... Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? What is it? What is it? Oh. <laughs> okay, I will be back as soon as I can figure out how to fix this. So hopefully I will be back with two evenish wings. Two thousand years later. I do. How did this happen? How did things go so wrong? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. I just want to move on to primer and foundation. Between the Becca Backlight and the Too Faced Hangover RX, you guys chose the Too Faced Primer. So, let's put her on. I'm kind of happy you guys chose this because my skin is feeling extra dry today. And she's my favorite, so I never mind using her. Okay, so something I like to do is to fill in my brows while I let this sink into my skin a little bit because it makes me feel like my primer has time to adhere to my skin, which makes it work better with my foundation. So I'm going to move on to eyebrows really quick. And between the Senna Brow Gel and the ABH Dip Brow, the ABH Dip Brow one, so we finally get to use my favorite brow product for like the second time on this channel. I feel like I've been stuck in a pencil rut where I just keep having to use pencils. I'm going to take a little angled brush. Oh no! This video is cursed. Just dipped my whole middle finger in this. Got eyeliner everywhere on me. I got. Ugh. You know, today is not my day. I hope someone else is having a great day because it's not me. I'm just gonna dip into this and then tap it off in the cap because it's pigmented. And then just fill in my brows. I sounded like a ghost when I said brows. Brows! Today these are as good as the brows are going to get, so I'm going to take our foundation pick, which is the Hourglass Vanishing Stick. It was between this and Wet n Wild, and I said in my last video that I hated the Wet n Wild, so I was really happy that you guys picked this for me, but I'm going to let you in on a secret. I'm not a big fan of this foundation either. She either works really well for me, or she works like shit. It just depends on how she's feeling that day, so let's hope today's a good day for her. Have you guys tried any of the Tarte brushes? This is the only set I have, which came out around the holidays, so I haven't gotten any of the other brushes. Okay. Mm. I'm feeling quite Casper. I don't want to touch this with- I don't want to touch this with a beauty blender because every time I do that, instead of blending it out, it just takes it off. Like, you can't use a beauty blender with this. It looks awful. Mamma mia, it's a pizza. Alright, I'm just gonna take this brush, because it's two-sided, so hopefully one of these sides will work for me. And just start blending this out.
the makeup wipe as a red, as a white flag of my surrender. Okay. I got shit to do today, though. Makeup. When in doubt, use your fingers. I'm gonna put the brush down. All right, all right. I will powder and just give me a second. So much has happened to me right now. All of the places that I have fucked up and all of the noises that are going on in my house right now, this video is going to be so bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, if you want a refund for your free experience, I don't blame you. For contour, it was between Sleek and Park Ave and Park Ave 1, so I'm going to use this as bronzer and contour. I'm going to start by taking a Kat Von D, the baby Kat Von D brush. This is number four. So I'm going to take number four and the shade Princess Cut and contour my cheeks. But I am I went from feeling very confident and very reassured about this look to I want to wash my face right now. But you know, I don't mind the eyes. If it hadn't have been for this little wing situation, everything would have been fine. Moving on to blush. <laughs> I am just going to use the ColourPop Clockwork Blush. This is a thing. Why doesn't it look like this on the package, ColourPop? ColourPop, please. How am I supposed to tell them apart? This is color this is Clockwork. I don't even know what this looks like. You guys, it was between this and Milani's Berry Amore. Okay, so this looks hopefully okay. I'm gonna mix both tick and talk together. Hopefully this looks okay. Okay. It just looks kind of bronzy too, so we're good. Between Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Becca, you guys chose Becca, so I'm gonna use Champagne Pop. Hopefully highlight can save the day today. Guys, I'm feeling so defeated right now. This wing looks like shit. I look cakey. My under eyes look cracky. I'm not feeling confident, you guys. I have to be very honest. But now we're gonna we're gonna do the under eyes and hopefully things will turn around for the better. I'm gonna take this BH cosmetics brush and love letter. This one. Love letter. Under the eye. Alright, next I'm going to take an itty bitty angle brush and a cypress umber, the dark shade, and just run it on my lashes. Oh my god, this fucking thing keeps coming. Ugh. Take a shot every time Bailey complains. Honestly, take a shot every time I complain I'm going to be drunk in this video. You'd be dead. You'd <laughs> it's mascara time. I can't wait to see how I fuck this part up. So are we thinking I'm going to get it on my lid or am I going to get it underneath the eye? Place your bets now, ladies and gentlemen. 
Or am I gonna sneeze and get it everywhere? Oh my god. The possibilities, my dears, are endless. Alright, so fin the eyes are finally, 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 finally done. So between L ColourPop Cozy and the Too Faced Suck It lips, the Too Faced Melted Lip in Suck It, which turns out to be so appropriate for this video, like, this makeup can suck it. I'm gonna put this lipstick on and then the torture of this video will end. I never put this on and liquid lipsticks scare me, so pray for me. Welcome to the third installment of Bailey does fall makeup in the dead ass summertime. I've never looked so vampy. I mean I have, but look at this look. Look at me. Looking like a snack. Looking like a spinach artichoke dip. Because I'm me and I can't help it, I'm gonna put some, some gloss on. Because uh, this is feeling sticky and terrible. Trying to put a lot on to cover up the cakiness. Okay, so let's take a look at this look. It's really not that bad, okay? It's not. I think I look quite grungy and fall, which I mean, I'm not mad about. I love fall. I love grunge. I'm living my 90s meat 2000s and tens fantasies, okay? I'm kind of feeling cute now that it's done. I really like this lip, but it's not a comfortable matte, but I'll let you guys know in the description how long I actually could wear this for and how it surpassed like eating and stuff. I'll let you know, I'll keep you updated. But that is all for this video. I hope you guys liked it and I just wanted to remind you that my giveaway is still open. I'm giving away that Smashbox Primer Water, um, Colourpop's Moonchild Lip Gloss, and the Milani Luminoso Blush. So all you gotta do to enter that is be, be subscribed and if you want an extra entry you can share any of my videos and that will get you an extra entry. So I'll see you guys in my video on Tuesday. I'll give you guys a hint on what it is because it's very different. We're working with all of this on Tuesday. So I hope you guys come back for that and have a great weekend and I'll see you guys on Tuesday in my next video. Bye!